Carveco is a pixel-based 3D relief modeler. In essence, this means that the quality of any relief models you create will be directly dependent on the resolution you work at. In much the same way as a television or computer monitor, the lower the resolution of your model, the less detail. Here's an image that shows what the two extremes look like. On the left, low resolution, where you can see all the individual pixels, and on the right, high resolution, preserving all that fine detail. If models are generated in a low resolution, the end result will be poor, giving less detail to your model and very jagged edges. That being said, if you continually create models in a very high resolution, then your computer may struggle due to all the extra processing that's required. Under the hood, Carveco is optimized to use your system's graphics card, so we always recommend investing in a good quality GPU for a much quicker and slicker experience. More GPU cores ultimately equal better performance, allowing your system to handle 3D relief models at increased resolutions much, much easier. When creating a new model in Carveco, you can increase or decrease the model resolution by moving the slider bar to your preferred size. Here's a model that's been created at 2000 by 2000 pixels, right in the middle of our slider scale. Now you can see, it looks pretty crisp, but if I zoom in closer, you can see some very small jagged edges on the boundary of the relief model. This normally isn't a concern with reliefs created above 1500 pixels, so if preserving the most amount of detail on your model is your top priority, this is the sort of resolution that you should aim for. We're now going to see what happens to the same model in low resolution. I'm resetting the relief and changing the resolution to 400 pixels, which is really very low. You can see that the generated relief is extremely pixelated, losing a lot of the detail and crispness compared to the original high resolution version. Another way that you can lose resolution or quality is by creating a high res model, but then creating or importing a low resolution model into it. For this example, the model resolution is a very high 2000 pixels, but the relief I've created within it is actually quite small covering only at a guess around 50 pixels square, compressing all that detail into a much smaller space. So the same rules apply. If this is the full design, then it is much better creating this as large as possible to preserve all of your fine detail.